afternoon, Pac-12 Twee! Are you ready to have an aerial assault? If so, join me at the PAC meeting on August 18th, 2020, where we're going to have a paper airplane contest, water bottle rocket launches, and an egg drop. It's going to be amazing. Some of you might be wondering, how do you make a water bottle rocket? Hmm. If only we had a way where I could, like, make one and show you that way you know how to make it. Oh yeah, are you ready to learn? Let's do this. Okay, first, the most important thing you're gonna need is a handy dandy two liter bottle that is empty. Ooh, so parents, you might wanna write this down. One empty two liter bottle per participant. And yes, siblings, you can join in the fun. You will need a couple of pieces of paper, some scissors, and some tape. It doesn't matter what kind of tape you use. It doesn't matter what kind of paper you use. I'm using packing tape because it's the first thing I found when I was looking around. So, are you ready, Scout? First, you set your water bottle, I'm sorry, your two liter bottle off to the side. Next. You sit here and you try to figure out expertly how am I going to cut some triangles out of this piece of paper and you very scientifically just make some triangles. It's really not scientific or fancy. You just make them. No big deal. If you want to make yours bigger, you can. If you want to get a ruler out, you can. If you want to color it, you can. All you, But at the end... You just need three triangles. So, if you want to get fancy, you can get a marker. You can do this stuff. You can put your name on it if you want to. You can do whatever you want. If you want to draw on it, you have fun. The next thing you're going to want to do is on your triangle, you're just going to fold the long end a little bit like this. See? All you're doing is folding the long edge in about an inch. That's all. You do that to all of them. Which, now that I'm looking at it, if you are going to color on it and draw on it, you might want to do your fold first. Otherwise, it'll look like mine, where part of it is now going to be folded up. Next, we're going to attach the wings to your bottle. I know you think it should go like this, because that looks cool, but that is not correct. The open end of the bottle, down here where the lid is, is the bottom. So you want the big piece of your wing to go towards the opening. So you just get some handy dandy tape. There we go. And you carefully and you expertly put on your wings. There is one professionally installed. And then you just repeat for the other two. And there we go. And let's do it again. Uh, you want to have three wings, so you ballpark about what would be equal. It really doesn't matter. Unless your parents happen to be engineers, in which case they will probably contradict me on that. Now, for our final piece of tape. There we go, and expertly put this on here, like that. And, woo! and now, you have your bottle rocket with three wings on it, taped on. Now, are you ready for some magic? You see this bottle right here? 
it now magically has water in the bottle. From experience, it's a little bit easier to put the water in the bottle before you attach the wings. Now, Scouts, is my water all the way to the top of the bottle? No, it's not. Now, do you want your water up here? No. Here? No. Here? Eh, maybe. The more air you have in the bottle, the better it will launch. And this, and then you put your lid back on it after you get the water in it. Boom, you're done. You have now made your water bottle rocket and you will launch it at the pack meeting and you will be amazed at how high they will go. Now, on for number two. As you can see, in this hand I have Da, 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 da. A beautiful, pretty, precious egg. It has not been hard boiled. It is just an egg, still cold in the refrigerator. Oh, I love you, little egg. And since I love my little egg so much, I want to protect my little egg as much as I can. And you, Scouts, are going to have to protect your little egg as well. So your assignment between now and the next pack meeting is to build a device that will protect your precious sweet little egg. But wait, there are rules. Don't worry parents, these rules will be emailed out and you'll also probably have it on the Facebook post that has this video. Here are the rules. <coughs> the container must be an eight inch by eight inch by eight inch package. No, I will not have a ruler. We're going to eyeball it. Your package cannot have a parachute or a parachute attached or a parachute that will deploy. No parachutes. The egg, your precious little egg, must be raw. It cannot be hard boiled and I know what some of you guys are thinking out there. Uh-huh. You're just going to crack the egg and keep the raw egg and put it in something else? I thought of that too. Your egg must be in this original uncracked shell that it is, came from the store in. And finally, do not put tape on the egg. We have to see if your egg broke. If this is covered in tape, how am I going to take that tape off to make sure it didn't break? Exactly. So no tape. Also, this is the next final thing of the rules. No peanut butter or any other nut butter or anything like that that contains nuts. So now that we've got all of the rules out of the way, Let's think about this. How could I possibly make something easy and simple to protect this egg? If only I had some type, some type of bag or box that had plenty of room in it. I am... Um, I don't know, had some type of natural cushioning in it. I don't know. Maybe then I could have a nice head drop package, maybe. Oh, yeah. You can do something as simple as popping some popcorn. Putting your egg deep inside the popcorn in the middle. Roll it up. Grab some handy-dandy tape. Oops, tape it down. You know what, that's not a good wrapping. We all know that's not a good wrapping. Let's tape this up. Get ready to cover your ears because this is probably going to be loud. Oh, isn't that annoying? Can we just get a tiny little strip? Oh, that is so annoying. Try this again. Ah. I am stronger than you, tape. Uh, yeah. Now, 
We gently, delicately, carefully crack our precious little eggs. So, there's one method. But you might be like, hey, you know what? I don't like popcorn. Maybe you're like Wally and you're allergic to corn. And you don't want to have popcorn around you. So, let's come up with another idea. What could you possibly do? I don't know. Let's say that someone in your house enjoy eat enjoys eating Atkins Nutty Fudge Brownie Bars. They're delicious. You could get some Walmart sacks. Shove them in there. Ooh, I love you little egg. Put your precious little egg in there. Put in some more sacks. And then wrap it up with tape. Again, perfect idea. Or get another box. And you can stuff towels in it if you want to for more protection. You could get bubble wrap if you want to. You can get Ziploc baggies and blow them up to make little cushions for it. You can do whatever you want. As long as you have fun doing it. Make sure that you bring it with you to the pack meeting fully prepared so that we can launch it. Now, Scouts, this is a message for your parents. Dear parents, I need your help. In these tough, troubling times of COVID-19 and social distancing, it's imperative that we protect the children. And I need your help to protect the children. How can you help us protect these children? By volunteering. For just a few minutes a day. Okay, for an hour on one day, I need you to help volunteer to run stations so that our scouts are not huddled together spreading dangerous COVID germs, so that we can keep them spread apart, so that we can keep them from touching the same things that other children have touched. I need you and your help to volunteer to keep the children of America safe. I'll be sending out a sign of genius where you can have the opportunity to volunteer for a one-time activity at the pack meeting, you could pull the cord that launches the water bottle rockets up into the air. You could be one of our very athletic people who helps launch our egg drops off of a hill and down onto the field. You could be an egg drop checker where you open the packages to make sure that the eggs didn't crack. Try your flying skills and your talent at folding paper airplanes and making sure that the, every scout has the supplies they need and even help keep track of who wins the, the airplane contest. That's right, parents. It's all up to you to keep our children safe and help us have fun. And I guarantee you too will have fun. That's it for today's episode. If you have any questions, send me an email, put some comments down in Facebook, and give me a call, give me a text if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you and have a wonderful day.